This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at acid base indicators. Acid base indicators are weak acids where the components of the conjugate acid base pair have different colors. In this table, we can see some examples of acid base indicators, which can be found in the chemistry data booklet. Each indicator has a pKa value, a pH range, and the color change in an acidic and alkaline solution. For example, the commonly used indicator phenolphthalein has a pKa of 9.6, a pH range of between 8 and 10, and is colorless in an acidic solution and pink in an alkaline solution. The pH range is the pH within which the indicator changes color, and this is usually plus or minus one pH unit of the pKa value. So for phenolphthalein, the pKa is 9.6 and the pH range is 8 to 10. So next we look at how acid base indicators work. So because acid base indicators are weak acids, we can write equations that show their ionization. So in this equation, HIND represents the weak acid and IND- represents its conjugate base. So for the acid base indicator phenolphthalein, the unionized form, which is represented as HIND, is colorless, and the ionized form, which is the conjugate base, represented in the equation as IND-, is pink. So in other words, to be an acid base indicator, the unionized form and the ionized form, or the weak acid and its conjugate base, must have different colors in solution. So to explain how an acid base indicator works, we'll apply Le Chatelier's principle, which can be used to predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift when changes are made to a system at equilibrium. So because we have an equilibrium existing between the unionized form of the weak acid and the ionized form, we can use this principle to explain which color will be seen for an acid base indicator in an acidic or alkaline solution. So in an acidic solution which has a high concentration of hydrogen ions, the equilibrium position will shift to the left, in the direction of the unionized form of the weak acid, which is colorless. So in an acidic solution, phenolphthalein is colorless. In an alkaline solution, which has a high concentration of hydroxide ions, the equilibrium position will shift to the right, in the direction of the ionized form or the conjugate base. And this is because the excess hydroxide ions will react with the hydrogen ions on the right-hand side of the equation. So to produce more hydrogen ions, the equilibrium position will shift to the right. So in an alkaline solution, phenolphthalein is pink. So this is summarized in the table below. So in an acidic solution, the equilibrium position shifts to the left and the color seen is colorless. And in an alkaline solution, the equilibrium position shifts to the right and the color seen is pink. So next we look at one more example. The next example we look at is for bromophenol blue, which is yellow in an acidic solution and blue in an alkaline solution. So in an acidic solution, which has a high concentration of hydrogen ions, the equilibrium position shifts to the left in the direction of the unionized form of the weak acid and the color seen is yellow. And in an alkaline solution, which has a high concentration of hydroxide ions, the equilibrium position will shift to the right in the direction of the ionized form of the weak acid or the conjugate base and the blue color is seen. So once again, we can summarize this in the table. In an acidic solution, the equilibrium position shifts to the left and the color seen is yellow. And in an alkaline solution, the equilibrium position shifts to the right and the color seen is blue. So to end the video, we look at the point at which an indicator changes color. And this occurs when the pH of the solution is equal to the pKa of the acid base indicator. And the point at which it changes color is known as the end point of the indicator. So here we can see an expression for the Ka of an acid base indicator. So when an acid base indicator is in the middle of its color change, the concentration of IND- and HIND are the same. So these two cancel out. And this leaves us with the Ka is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the solution. And if we take the negative log of both of these, we end up with the pKa is equal to the pH. And this is the point at which the indicator will change color, which is known as its end point. 